stronger colour on all the time as well. That helps prevent watermarks. You can't put a weaker mix into a stronger mix. It, uh, you get all sorts of problems. I'm putting stronger and stronger colour in. You always end up flattening your texture because uh, you're working into it as it's, yeah. it's very wet, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Whereas this, as it sort of probably pick up how thick I'm putting it on now, and it is starting to dry. It's it's sort of gone from something like toothpaste to sort of uh, butter that's just come out of the refrigerator now. I'm going to have to shorten my name. It's uh, I might just make it all in one go yeah thank you thank you very much it's got a very slight incline on it so you can see the paint's actually traveling down yeah it's angled about 15 degrees yeah towards you, you don't want it any more than that it just ends up in your lap otherwise yeah yeah, the water moves a bit, the colour moves a bit too quick. Just put a bit of um, shadow down there just to sort of sit that down on something because it looked like it was levitating. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're anchoring it to the ground yeah, now by the looks right. of it. What colour is that you're using? It looks like uh, burnt tumble with a touch of alarism in it. Yeah? It is, yeah. Painted in under three quarters of an hour. Well, that was a quick one, Benita. Thank you for that one, because I took up most of the time with that tiger. It's good being on first. So, I hope people have had some benefit from this. So, thank you. Thank you.